In Shia Islam, the imama Arabic, imamth is the doctrine that the figures known as imams are rightfully the central figures of the ummah. The entire Shiite system of doctrine focuses on the imama. Shiites believe that the imams are the true caliphs or rightful successors of Muhammad, and further that imams are possessed of divine knowledge and authority as well as being part of the al al bayt the family of Muhammad. These imams have the role of providing commentary and interpretation of the Quran as well as guidance. According to Nasir al-Din al-Tusi, the imam is a means through which humans receive divine grace, because he brings men closer to obedience of Allah and keeps them away from disobedience. As fulfilling the human being is his wish, it is logical that God appoints imams to subject man to his wishes. So his existence and his deeds display two forms of grace of God toward man. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word, Imam, denotes a person who stands or walks, in front. For Sunni Islam, the word is commonly used to mean a person who leads the course of prayer in the mosque. It also means the head of a madhab, school of thought. However, from the Shia point of view, this is merely the basic understanding of the word in the Arabic language, and, for its proper religious usage, the word, Imam, is applicable only to those members of the House of Muhammad designated as infallible by the preceding Imam. Introduction The Shia further believe only these Amma have the right to be caliphs, meaning that all other caliphs, whether elected by consensus or not, are usurpers of the caliphate so those were political positions not divine positions. All Muslims believe that Muhammad had said, "...to whomsoever I am Mala, Ali is his Mala." This hadith has been narrated in different ways by many different sources in no less than 45 hadith books of both Sunni and Shia collections. This hadith has also been narrated by the collector of hadiths, Al-Tirmidhi, 3713, as well as Ibn Majah, 121, etc. The major point of conflict between the Sunni and the Shia is in the interpretation of the word Mala. For the Shia the word means «master» and has the same elevated significance as when the term had been used to address Muhammad himself during his lifetime. Thus, when Muhammad actually by speech and physically by way of having his closest companions including Abu Bakr, Umar and Uthman the three future caliphs who had preceded Ali as caliph publicly accept Ali as their master by taking Ali's hand in both of theirs as token of their allegiance to Ali, transferred this title and manner of addressing Ali as the Mala for all Muslims at Ghadari Qum Oasis just a few months before his death, the people that came to look upon Ali as Muhammad's immediate successor even before Muhammad's death came to be known as the Shia. However, for the Sunnis the word simply means the beloved or the revered and has no other significance at all. Topic: <laughs> Sects. Within Shia Islam, Shiism, the various sects came into being because they differed over their imam successions, just as the Shia Sunni separation within Islam itself had come into being from the dispute that had arisen over the succession to Muhammad. Each succession dispute brought forth a different tariqa literal meaning path, extended meaning sect within Shia Islam. Each Shia tariqa followed its own particular imam's dynasty, thus resulting in different numbers of imams for each particular Shia tariqa. When the dynastic line of the separating successor imam ended with no heir to succeed him, then either he the last imam or his unborn successor was believed to have gone into concealment, that is, the occultation. The Shia tariqa with a majority of adherents are the Twelvers who are commonly known as the Shia. After that come the Nazari Ismailis commonly known as the Ismailis, and then come the Mustalian Ismailis commonly known as the Boras, with further schisms within their Bori tariqa. The Druze tariqa initially were part of the Fatimid Ismailis and separated from them the Fatimid Ismailis after the death of the Fatimid Imam and Caliph al-Hakim by Amrila. The Shia Sevener tariqa no longer exists. Another small tariqa is the Zaydi Shias, also known as the Fivers and who do not believe in the occultation of their last imam. Although all these different Shia tariqas belong to the Shia group as opposed to the Sunni group in Islam, there are major doctrinal differences between the main Shia tariqas. After that there is the complete doctrinal break between all the different Shia tariqas whose last imams have gone into occultation and the Shia Nazari Ismailis who deny the very concept of occultation. 
The Shia Nazari Ismailis by definition have to have a present and living Imam until the end of time. Thus if any living Nazari Ismaili Imam fails to leave behind a successor after him then the Nazari Ismailism's cardinal principle would be broken and its very raison d'etre would come to an end. Twelver view Shias believe that Imama is of the principles of faith as the verse 4 to 165 of Quran expresses the necessity to the appointment of the prophets, so after the demise of the prophet who will play the role of the prophet, till the people have not any plea against Allah. The same logic that necessitated the assignment of prophets also is applied for Imama, that is Allah must assign someone similar to prophet in his attributes and Isma as his successor to guide the people without any deviation in religion. They refer to the verse, this day I have perfected for you your religion and completed my favor upon you and have approved for you Islam as religion. 5 to 3 of Quran which was revealed to the prophet when he appointed Ali as his successor at the day of God or come by the verse Quran 2 to 124 she is believed that imama is a divine position always imama is accompanied by the word guidance of course a guidance by God's command a kind of guidance which brings humanity to the goal. Regarding 17 to 71, no age can be without an imam. So, according to the upper verse 1, imama is a position which is appointed by God and must be specified by him too. Imam is protected by a divine protection and no one excels him in nobility 3. No age can be without an imam and finally imam knows everything which is needed for human being to get to the truth and goal. Topic: Why only specific members of Muhammad's family? It is forbidden for the divine leader not to be from the family of Muhammad. According to Ali al-Rida, since it is obligatory to obey him, there should be a sign to clearly indicate the divine leader. That sign is his well-known ties of kinship with Muhammad and his clear appointment so that the people could distinguish him from others, and be clearly guided toward him. Otherwise others are nobler than Muhammad's offspring and they are to be followed and obeyed, and the offspring of Muhammad are obedient and subject to the offspring of Muhammad's enemies such as Abi Jal or Ibn Abi Ma'it. However, Muhammad is much nobler than others to be in charge and to be obeyed. Moreover, once the prophethood of Muhammad is testified they would obey him, no one would hesitate to follow his offspring and this would not be hard for anyone. While to follow the offspring of the corrupted families is difficult. And that is maybe why the basic characteristic of Muhammad and other prophets was their nobility. For none of them, it is said, were originated from a disgraced family. It is believed that all Muhammad's ancestors up to Adam were true Muslims. Jesus was also from a pious family, as it is mentioned in Quran that after his birth, people said to Mary, O sister of Aaron, your father was not a man of evil, nor was your mother unchaste. The Ismaili view The doctrine of the imamate in Ismailism differs from that of the Twelvers because the Ismailis had living imams for centuries after the last Twelver imam went into concealment. They followed Ismail ibn Jafar, elder brother of Musa al-Qadim, as the rightful imam after his father, Jafar al-Sadiq. The Ismailis believe that whether Imam Ismail did or did not die before Imam Jafar, he had passed on the mantle of the Imamate to his son Muhammad ibn Ismail as the next Imam. According to Ismailism, God has sent seven great prophets known as Natiks speaker, in order to disseminate and improve his din of Islam. All of these great prophets has also one assistant known as Samad silent Imam. At the end of each seven Samad silsilas, one great Natik has been sent in order to improve the faith. After Adam and his son Seth, and after six Natik Samad Silsila Noah Shem, Abraham Ishmael, Moses Aaron, Jesus Simeon, son of Jacob, Muhammad Ali, the Silsila of Natiks and Samads have been completed with Muhammad ibn Ismail. <laughs> Why Imam from only specific members' family? Ismailis view Imams are true representative of God. God has made all prophets his representative. Individual prophets' era are distinct. After one prophet's God created next prophet. Islam view that Muhammad is last prophet. Muhammad appointed his specific representative Ali. Ali made imams as his next representative and one imam appointed another till date. The Ismaili view that these imam are only from their hereditary chain and their appointment is a must, and earth cannot remain vacant, without presence of imam. 
Topic: Zaidi view. Zaidiya or Zaidi is a Shia madhab sect, school named after the Imam Zaid ibn Ali. Followers of the Zaidi fiqh are called Zaidis or are occasionally called Fivers in the West. However, there is also a group called the Zaidi Wasaitis who are Twelvers. In the context of the Shia Muslim belief in spiritual leadership or imamate, Zaidis believe that the leader of the Ummah or Muslim community must be Fatimids, descendants of Muhammad through his only surviving daughter Fatima, whose sons were Hassan ibn Ali and Husayn ibn Ali. These Shia called themselves Zaidi so they could differentiate themselves from other Shi'is who refused to take up arms with Zayd ibn Ali. Zaidis believe Zayd ibn Ali was the rightful successor to the Imamate because he led a rebellion against the Umayyad Caliphate, who he believed were tyrannical and corrupt. Muhammad al-Bakir did not engage in political action and the followers of Zayd believed that a true Imam must fight against corrupt rulers. The renowned Muslim jurist Abu Hanifa who is credited for the Hanafi school of Sunni Islam, delivered a fatwa or legal statement in favor of Zayd in his rebellion against the Umayyad ruler. He also urged people in secret to join the uprising and delivered funds to Zayd. Unlike Twelver Shiites, Zaydis do not believe in the infallibility of Imams and do not believe that the Imamate must pass from father to son but believe it can be held by any descendant, from either Hassan ibn Ali or Husayn ibn Ali. The period of occultation Twelver view The period of occultation is divided into two parts Gaibat al-Sugra or minor occultation 874 consists of the first few decades after the Imam's disappearance when communication with him was maintained through deputies of the Imam. Gaibat al-Kubra or major occultation began 941 and is believed to continue until a time decided by God, when the Mahdi will reappear to bring absolute justice to the world. During the minor occultation, Gaibat al-Sugra, it is believed that al-Mahdi maintained contact with his followers via deputies, Arab and Nuwab al-Arba or the four leaders. They represented him and acted as agents between him and his followers. Whenever the believers faced a problem, they would write their concerns and send them to his deputy. The deputy would ascertain his verdict, endorse it with his seal and signature and return it to the relevant parties. The deputies also collected zakat and kums on his behalf. For the Shia, the idea of consulting a hidden imam was not something new because the two prior Twelver imams had, on occasion, met with their followers from behind a curtain. Also, during the oppressive rule of the later Abbasid caliphs, the Shia imams were heavily persecuted and held prisoners, thus their followers were forced to consult their imams via messengers or secretly. Shia tradition hold that four deputies acted in succession to one another Uthman ibn Sa'id al-Asadi Abu Jafar Muhammad ibn Uthman Abul Qasim Husayn ibn Ra al-Nabakti Abul Hasan Ali ibn Muhammad al Samara and 941 329 AH, the fourth deputy announced an order by al Mahdi that the deputy would soon die and that the deputyship would end and the period of the major occultation would begin. The fourth deputy died six days later and the Shia Muslims continue to await the reappearance of the Mahdi. In the same year, many notable Shia scholars such as Ali ibn Babawai Kumi and Muhammad ibn Yaqub Kulaini, the learned compiler of Kitab al-Kafi, also died. One view is that the hidden imam is on earth, among the body of the Shia, but, incognito, numerous stories, exist of the hidden imam, manifesting himself to prominent members of the ulama. The Ismaili view. The Ismailis differ from Twelvers because they had living Imams for centuries after the last Twelver Imam went into concealment. They followed Ismail ibn Jafar, elder brother of Musa al Qadim, as the rightful Imam after his father Jafar al Sadiq. The Ismailis believe that whether Imam Ismail did or did not die before Imam Jafar, he had passed on the mantle of the Imamate to his son Muhammad ibn Ismail as the next Imam. Thus, their line of Imams is as follows the years of their individual Imamates during the Common Era are given in brackets First phase 
The eighth Imam, Abd Allah al Akbar of the Ismaili Shia, remained hidden but continued the Ismaili movement in the 9th century in Salamiya, Syria. The eighth to tenth Imams, Abdullah, Ahmed, and Husayn, remained hidden and worked for the movement against the period's times rulers. First phase of seclusion ends with tenth Imam. The eleventh Imam Abdullah al Mahdi Billah, under the guise of being a merchant, and his son had made their way to Sijilmasa, fleeing persecution by the Abbasids. Imam Abdullah founded Fatimid Caliphate. The Fatimid Ismaili Imams continued till 20th Imam holding the post of Caliph also, ruling a vast part of Arabian Peninsula. <laughs> Second phase Upon the death of the 20th Imam, Al-Amir by Akamil Law d. A 526 his two-year-old child at Tayyib Abul Qasim b. A 524 was appointed 21st Imam. The supporters of Tayyib became the Tayyibi Ism Ili. As Tayyib was not in position to run the Dawa, Queen Arwa al Salai, the Da'i al Mitlak, acted as his regent. Imam Tayyib was hidden, and second phase of seclusion started. The Da'i had now been given absolute authority and made independent from political activity. With period of time Tayyibi divided further into several sects headed by different Da'i they believed. These Da'i continued acting on behalf of hidden Imams till date. Dawoodi Bora is biggest amongst them with population spread over many countries all over the continentals. Imams Twelver Imams According to the majority of Shia, namely the Twelvers Ibn'a'sharia, the following is a listing of the rightful successors to Muhammad. Each Imam was the son of the previous Imam except for Hussain ibn Ali, who was the brother of Hassan ibn Ali. The belief in this succession to Muhammad stems from various Quranic verses which include, 75 36, 13 7, 35-24, 230-2-124, 36-26, 7-142, 42-23. They support their discussion by citing Genesis chapter 17 verses 19 to 20 and Sunni hadith, Sahih Muslim, hadith number 4478, English translation by Abdul Hamid Siddiqui. Topic: <laughs> List of the 12 Imams. According to Twelvers, there is always an Imam of the era who is the divinely appointed authority on all matters of faith and law in the Muslim community. Ali was the first of the twelve Imams, and, in the Twelvers and Sufis view, the rightful successor to Muhammad, followed by male descendants of Muhammad through his daughter Fatima. Each Imam was the son of the previous Imam, with the exception of Husayn ibn Ali, who was the brother of Hassan ibn Ali. The twelfth and final Imam is Muhammad al Mahdi, who is believed by the Twelvers to be currently alive, and hidden in the major occultation until he returns to bring justice to the world. It is believed by Twelver and Alevi Muslims that the Twelve Imams have been foretold in the Hadith of the Twelve Successors. All of the Imams met unnatural deaths, with the exception of the last Imam, who according to Twelver and Alevi belief, is living in occultation. <laughs> Ismaili Imams The Ismaili line of Imams for both sects the Nizari and Mastai continues undivided until al Mustansir Billah. D. 1094. After his death, the line of the Imamate separates into the Nizari and Mastai dynasties. The line of Imams of the Mastai Muslims also known as the Boras, Dawoodi Bora continued up to Amir ibn Mastali. After his death, they believe their 21st Imam, at Tayyib Abul Qasim, went into a Dar e Satr period of concealment that continues to this day. In the absence of an imam they are led by a da'i al-mitlak who manages the affairs of the imam in concealment until re-emergence of the imam from concealment. The line of imams of the Nizari Ismaili Shia Muslims also known as the Aga Khani Ismailis in South and Central Asia continues to their present living 49th hereditary imam, Aga Khan IV son of Prince Ali Khan. They are the only Shia Muslim community today led by a present and living imam. Zaydi Imams 
The Zaidi branch of Shi'ism established its own line of Imams starting in the year 897. The line continued without interruption until 1962 when the North Yemen Civil War brought the Imamate to an end and established a republic. <laughs> Sunni view of the Shia Imamate The Syrian Mufti ibn Taymiyyah d. 728 AH, 1328 AD, composed a long refutation of the notion of the imamate in his Minaj as Sunnah and Nabawiyyah. The belief of the Twelver Imama with the consideration of the sacred status of the four Rashidun caliphs is shared in Sunni Islam, due to the following hadith of Muhammad. I heard the Apostle of Allah say, Islam shall not cease to be glorious up to twelve caliphs, every one of them being from the Quraysh. And in a narration, the affairs of men will not cease to decline so long as twelve men will rule over them, every one of them coming from Quraysh. And in a narration, the religion will continue to be established till the hour comes as there are twelve caliphs over them, every one of them coming from the Quraysh. The affairs of the people will continue to be conducted as long as they are governed by twelve men, he then added from Quraysh. I will be followed by twelve caliphs, all will be Quraysh. File, Imam Chart. PDF. See also Succession to Muhammad, Imamzadeh, Isma, Imams of Yemen. Notes Topic Footnotes Topic Bibliography Corbin, Henry, nineteen ninety three. History of Islamic Philosophy, translated by Leodane Sherard and Philip Sherard. Keegan Paul International in association with Islamic Publications for the Institute of Ismaili Studies. ISBN 0 7103 416 1. Tabatabai, Sayyid Muhammad Hossein. Shiite Islam, translated by Sayyid Hossein Nasser. Sunni Press. ISBN 0 87395 272 3. Motahari, Mortiza. Master and Mastership. Islamic Seminary Publications. ASIN B0006 E4 JOC. References Madeling, Wilford. 2003. Hassan ibn Ali. Encyclopedia Iranica. Madeling, Wilford. 1985c. Ali al Reza. Encyclopedia Iranica. Retrieved 9 November 2007. Kohlberg, E. Punawala, I. K. Ali b. Abi Talib. Encyclopedia Iranica. Retrieved 7 July 2014. Amir Moezi, Muhammad Ali. 2005. Shiite Doctrine. Encyclopedia Iranica. Retrieved 7 July 2014. Madeling, Wilford. 1988. Al Baqer Abu Jafar Muhammad. Encyclopedia Iranica. Retrieved 8 November 2007. Amir Moezi, Muhammad Ali. 2007. Islam in Iran v. The Concept of Mahdi in Twelver Shi'ism. Encyclopedia Iranica. Madeling, Wilford. 1985a. Ali al Hadi. Encyclopedia Iranica. Madeling, Wilford. 1985b. Ali al Reza. Encyclopedia Iranica. Madeling, Wilford. 2004. Hossein b. Ali i. Life and Significance in Shi'ism. Encyclopedia Iranica. Halm, H. 1987. Askari. Encyclopedia Iranica. Nasser, Saeed Hossein. 2007. Ali. Encyclopedia Britannica Online. Tabatabai, Muhammad Hussein. 2008. Islamic Teachings in Brief. Qum, Ansarian. Encyclopedia Britannica Online. Encyclopedia Britannica, Inc. Encyclopedia Iranica. Center for Iranian Studies, Columbia University. ISBN 1-56859-050-4.
Martin, Richard C. Encyclopedia of Islam and the Muslim World, Vol. 1. Macmillan. ISBN 0-02-865604-0. Encyclopedia of the Modern Middle East and North Africa. Gale Group, 2004. ISBN 978-0-02-865769-1. Nasser, Saeed Valley Reza the Shia Revival, How Conflicts Within Islam Will Shape the Future First ed. New York, Norton. ISBN 0-393-06211-2. Corbin, Henry originally published in French in 1964. History of Islamic Philosophy, translated by Leodane Sherard, Philip Sherard. London, Keegan Paul International in association with Islamic Publications for the Institute of Ismaili Studies. ISBN 0 7103 0416 1. Momin, Mujin. An Introduction to Shi i Islam The History and Doctrines of Twelve. Yale University Press. ISBN 0 300 03531 4. Sasha Dina, Abdulaziz Abdulhussein. The Just Ruler al -Sultan al -Adil in Shish Ite Islam, The Comprehensive Authority of the Jurist in Imamite Jurisprudence, Oxford University Press U.S. ISBN 0-19-511915-0. Tabatabe, Saeed Muhammad Hossein Shiite Islam, translated by Saeed Hossein Nasser. Sunni Press. ISBN 0-87395-272-3. Ayyab, Mahmud The Quran and Its Interpreters, Vol. 1. Sunni Press. ISBN 978-0-87395-727-4 Al-Tajani al-Samawi, Muhammad. To Be With the Truthful. Corbin, Henry History of Islamic Philosophy, translated by Leodane Sherard, Philip Sherard. London, Keegan Paul International in association with Islamic Publications for the Institute of Ismaili Studies. ISBN 0-7103-0416-1. Madeling, Wilford, Daftari, Farhad, Mary, Joseph W. 2003. Culture and Memory in Medieval Islam, Essays in Honor of Wilford Madeling. I. B. Tories. ISBN 978-1-86064-859-5. Tabatabe, Saeed Muhammad Hossein. Shiite Islam. Translated by Saeed Hossein Nasser. Sunni Press. ISBN 0 87395 272 3. Tabatabai, Saeed Muhammad Hossein. Shiite Islam. Translated by Saeed Hossein Nasser. State University of New York Press. ISBN 0 87395 390 8. Sasha Dina, Abdulaziz Abdul Hussein. The Just Ruler al -Sultan al -Adil in Shish Ite Islam, The Comprehensive Authority of the Jurist in Imamite Jurisprudence, Oxford University Press U.S. ISBN 0 19 511915 0. Mashita. Theology, Ethics and Metaphysics. Hiroyuki. London, Routledgekurzen. ISBN 9780700716700. Mahmoud, Mohammed Hossein. 1980. A Shiite Anthology. Sunni Press. ISBN 978-0-87395-510-2. Dunjirsi, Muhammad Raza. A Brief Biography of Imam Hassan bin Ali A. S. Al Askari. Bilal Muslim Mission of Tanzania. GGKEY, NT86H2HXN40. Nasser, Saeed Hossein. Islamic Spirituality, Foundations. Routledge. ISBN 978 1 134 53895 9. Al Tabatabai, Muhammad H. Shiite Islam. Sunni Press. ISBN 978 0 87395 390 0. Karashi, Bakir Sharif. The Life of Imam Muhammad al Jawad. Com, Ansarian Publications. Amir Moezi, Muhammad Ali. The, 27th of September 1994. the Divine Guide in Early Shiism The Sources of Esotericism in Islam. Sunni Press. 
ISBN 9780791421222. Amir Moezi, Muhammad Ali, the 15th of February 2011. The Spirituality of Shi'i Islam: Belief and Practices. IB Tories. ISBN 9781845117382. Karashi, Bakir Sharif, 1999. The Life of Imam Muhammad ibn Ali al Bakir. Ansarian Publications. ISBN 9644380444. Ali al Bakir Sharif, 2007. The Life of Imam Zain al Abidin. Ansarian Publications. ISBN 978 9644381652. Rizvi, Saeed Saeed Akhtar. Imamate, The Visigurancy of the Holy Prophet. Bilal Muslim Mission of Tanzania. ISBN 978 9976 956 13 9. Al Sheikh Al Sadduk. Uyun Akbar al Reza The Source of Traditions on Imam Reza, A. S., Vol. 2. Com, Ansarian Publications. p. 194. Further reading Rizvi, Said Akhtar. Imamate, The Visigurancy of the Prophet. External links Al Imama, Imama page. A brief introduction of twelve Imams. Al Murahat. A brief history of the lives of the twelve Imams. A chapter of Shiite Islam book by Alama Tabatabai. The twelve Imams taken from a Shiite anthology by Alama Tabatabai. A short history of the lives of the twelve Imams. Imama in the Quran. Imam an article by Encyclopedia Britannica online. Hajat by Maria de Kake, an article of Encyclopedia Iranica Shia Islam, Ask Imam Shia Network Alalbait Discussion Forums Twelve Successors Bay Area Shiite Muslims Association Imamiya Mission Bari Graphical illustration of the Shia sects The Shia Islamic Guide Shia Code. Com. Imama in Sunni Islam Imama according to Sunnis <laughs>